Let me ask you something. When there is a parent who coddles bad behavior from their uh, of their children, what happens? Does that behavior start to disappear or does it be, does it start to get worse? <clears throat> it starts to get worse, doesn't it? Why can't we do that when it comes to cultures? Why can we not call out bad behavior in cultures? Any attempts to call out bad behavior in cultures leads to the phrasing, you're a bigot, or... Um, Let's say if it's if it has to do with Islam, you're as an Islamophobe. If it has to do with um, a, a culture that you tip it, you find very often in the black community that you're racist. Why is it that we cannot point out bad behavior in different cultures? I've pointed out plenty of times bad behavior that I've found in the gay community. So the only people that can that can bring up bad things that are going on in a community are people within that community? Is that the case? Then why are there not more people bringing up bad things that go on in different communities? Is it really a case of where if you don't if you're not a part of that community you can't say anything? Is that really is that the state of affairs we have now? There are definitely some problems in the black community. And these cultures that are common within the black community, it's not, it's not the whole community, it's not, it's not all the cultures that are within the black community, it's not all black people, but it is a culture that is very common. For about the past 25 years, because people are scared of being labeled a racist if they say anything, we have been coddling bad behavior. When rap first started becoming popular in the 80s, there weren't really very many bad messages going on. There wasn't a, um, all white people are racist kind of mindset. There wasn't a, um, thug kind of mentality thing being pushed forth anywhere. But in the 80s, we were able to call out when we saw something shitty in a culture. We were still able to do it. And, and this is everywhere, any, any culture. We were still able to call things out that we saw that were shitty in different cultures. In the 90s, that stopped. In the 90s, we started becoming politically correct. By the time 2000 hit, you couldn't say a word about anything. And now, we've got the situation that we're in. It doesn't matter how careful someone is about the way that they talk about these issues that they find in different communities, you're prejudiced, you're bigoted, you're racist, you're 
Islamophobic, you're a Christ, you, you hate Christians, you hate this, you hate that, just because you're bringing up things that you see as patterns within different communities, within different cultures. And it's just like the mother or father, just like the parent or father, just like the parents who coddled their children, who coddled their children's bad behavior and watching that behavior get worse. Now we're at this, this point. I don't know how we're going to get past this shit. We're at this point now where... There is a disturbingly large percentage, large enough that it's an issue, of people claiming that all white people are racist. And it's to the point where someone can say something very racist towards white people and if they react, oh, well, you're racist. You can't even react to it. Otherwise, you're racist. Here, let me show you an example of this. Um, my friend Sean Brown that I've known for over 15 years uh, sent me screenshots of this. Here, let me show you. So what do you have to say about that? You know, you may not like the humor that he has, but that's his way of trying to deal with with negativity. So do you think that's right? Someone posts something racist against white people, and if a white person re reacts, well, that must mean you're racist against black people. There's no winning this shit. It's like we're supposed to continue to coddle bad behavior within a culture until, I mean, There's a long walking video. I may release it later, but it's it's a it's it's another one of those things videos that will take a very very long time to upload because it's a it's another you know eight gig file and I'm just like, eh. but I was talking about how I can't I don't go to Blueberry Park anymore because it's crime ridden now. It's no longer a safe place. And do you know when that started? Is when you had people sitting in their cars, blaring their rap loudly. Nobody comes up to the car to say, hey, can you turn that down? Because they're worried they're going to get beat up. Sitting in their cars, 
they're not going to the park. They're just sitting in their cars, staring at people, pointing and laughing, saying things out loud, making fun of people's outfits because they're not they're not ghetto enough. Oh, I said ghetto. Oh no. You know, they're they're not macho enough. They're not badass enough. Oh, look at that pathetic white white lady. And this isn't always people that are black that are in the cars. A lot a lot of them are, the majority of them are, but there are other people in those cars too that have the same mentality because it's a culture that is spreading. A culture of bullying, a culture of violence, a culture of it's I mean it's the equivalent of kids behaving poorly and they're getting coddled for it because they don't want to be considered, you know, bad parents. And that's when Blueberry Park started to turn to shit. It's gotten particularly bad this year. And now you go through I mean, there, there have been carjackings, there have been stolen cars that have been left there, there have been cars that they will drive onto the property of the park, uh, go in and set the car on fire, there have been shootings, and what's funny is a lot of the people, you know, a lot of people will get scared because, oh, well, there's... Um, there's all these transients sleeping in, in, in there. Well, the transients have never been a problem at that park. I mean, they've been there, but they've never actually been a problem. They've never caused problems other than sometimes leaving trash here and there. Because the park doesn't have very many garbage cans for them to take the trash to. Um, but now, now all the transients are gone. Probably because of all the crime that's, that's there. You don't want to go to Blueberry Park at night at all now. I mean, no. You don't want to go there. I used to go there all the time at night. I'd take a, I'd take a bit of a walk. I'd walk all the way over there and just enjoy the night trails. Oh, no, I would never do that now. And now when you go through the, the garbage that you see all along the trail, you can see wallets, broken smartphones, uh, lots of personal things because... This is evidence of people that have had their houses broken into, their cars broken into. You know, and then there during the day, there are all those people sitting in their cars, not going to the park. <coughs> my niggas, <coughs> my niggas, you know, pl blaring the music as loud as they can. Nobody says anything because they're worried they're going to get beat up. You can't say anything about any of it. You can't do anything about any of it. If you say something, you're racist. If you do something, well, you're gonna you're gonna risk your life. That batshit crazy uh, uh, sensei bitch talking about all this gentrification stuff. They're ruining these areas. Well, you know what ruins the areas? This is why this stuff gets built differently. People like to be able to go somewhere and to be able to walk somewhere at night and not worry about getting mugged. Detroit. Detroit is being rebuilt. And people are like, well, I, I, you know, I really like this area, and, and I like how it's how it's coming along, and I can walk at night, and I can walk all the, these places, and I, I feel safe now. Well, according to to people like uh, 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 Sensei, uh, well, now it's being gentrified. Gentr it's gentrification. It's gentrification. It's violence. You know, being able to walk down the street and not feel like you're gonna get mugged. Well, that's violence. That's actually violence. That's hatred towards uh, black people. 
wanting to be able to walk down walk down the street and not get mugged that's hatred towards black people that's racism you know bill cosby fucked up okay with that rape shit but a lot of the stuff that he talked about was spot on There isn't much of a push to get black people and those that are living, that are not black, that are living in those areas that that kind of shitty culture where it's like a bunch of kids being coddled for bad behavior are living where instead of wanting to be educated, instead of wanting to speak clearly so you can get a decent job, instead of wanting to make something of yourself, you gotta keep it real. You gotta keep it real. Yo. Can we seriously not talk about problems that are in cultures? And if you're going to say, well, well, you need to talk about it differently. Okay, tell me how we're supposed to talk about it. Tell me how this is supposed to be brought up. Are we supposed to wait for people within those communities to bring it up? It hasn't been brought up in the past 25 years, so, you know, who's going to bring it up? How are we going to talk about this? This has nothing to do with someone's blackness. This has nothing to do with someone's genetics. Not a fucking thing to do with it. This has nothing to do with biology. This is a cultural thing. And we should be able to point out things that are shitty in a culture. If we keep coddling this shit, it's going to get worse. And worse and worse and it is you know I've been reading up on some things about how like in Wichita uh, in one of the colleges in Wichita I uh, was it WSU no I probably have the have that wrong but um The statistics were showing that literally every occurrence of violence and crime and, you know, violent-oriented crime that was happening on the campus was perpetuated by those that were, unfortunately, those that were black. What was the reaction from the black community? In, in those areas, the, 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 there, were, there were a number of black groups that were, you know, trying to, to reduce racism. What was their answer? Well, it was to get to the, uh, the higher-ups in the college and demand that they stop showing the statistics. And the camera caught too hot. 